So we'll take first question right up here on the front on one. Hi, Chet. Uh, if you would select a player from the 90s to play against, who would you choose? Uh, I mean, it's got to be MJ, I guess. Uh, I mean, because he was the best. Yeah. Hey, Chet, a um, bit of a lighter question here, but uh, if you had to form a WWE-style tag team with any other NBA All-Star, who would you pick as your teammate and why? Uh, I wasn't ready for these questions. <laughs> um, probably, like, Embiid or somebody just because he's huge, so... Yeah, probably probably help with a WWE match. Tim on the back right. Tim Reynolds with the AP. I don't know how to follow that one. I'm sorry, but um, it's all good. Do you? Th I hate asking the people say questions, but do you think you guys are still a surprise? And and just with the way you're playing, how high you are in the in, in the West, and and how excited are you for? What's coming here in these last 25 games when you have a chance to do something pretty cool, obviously? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'd say we we surprised people who weren't paying close attention. Um, if you weren't, obviously, we're in, we're in a small market and everything, so we don't have the constant daily national media attention uh, that some teams have around them. Um, but, you know, the, the diehard fans who really watch us could see – uh, the talent that we've had for the last couple of years, and it was only a matter of time before we kind of figured out <clears throat> how to, you know, make that equate into wins. And uh, you know, I'm just thankful to be out here with with the group of guys that we got, um, trying to win games. You know, we've all bought into, uh, you know, the winning mindset and doing what it takes to win. Um, and and so far, it's been showing. Standing in the back, right? Hey, Chet, I've got a, a two-parter for you. Um, first of all, just you know, how does it feel to be here and, and being ex experiencing all of this? And then on top of that, you know, knowing the competitor that you are, how does it feel knowing, you know, the team success that you guys have built so far this season, kind of being a part of why that you're here? Um, I mean, first of all, it's a blessing to be here. I'm completely grateful. I don't take any of it for granted, uh, especially knowing, you know, it can be taken away at any time. <clears throat> but uh, what's really respected in this league is winning. Uh, it doesn't matter what you do if you never win at the same time. So uh, that's always on the forefront of my mind. And, um, you know, with the group of guys we got, if anybody's not focused on winning, um, you know, it's, it's kind of uh, an outlier in our locker room. So, uh, you know, I'm not going to be that guy who's kind of pulling away from, from what we're trying to do. And, uh, you know, it's, it's showing in the win column, but, uh, you know, we know we got a long, long ways to go. Um, but it, it's, it's always good to be able to look back on <clears throat> what we've done um, so far in the season with kind of a natural break that we're having with All-Star break. But, uh, you know, there's still been a lot of lessons that we still got to learn from. So, Second row over here. Chet, sorry if this is, you know, a longer question, but – Wanted to talk to you about KD. You're a part of that group, you know, of the young guys that, you know, worked out with him. But one thing that really stuck out to me, you had asked Adam, you were like, what time is he going to be in? And you got there an hour early, like before the workout. Talk about what you learned from him and then also being early and being one of the first ones in the gym, because that really stuck out to me when you did that. Um, I don't know. I just always show up early to things, I guess. Um. Part of it's also like I'm young and uh, I didn't grow up in L.A. And when you're driving out there, you kind of got to take into account there might be like two hours of traffic. So just in case, you know, I always leave a lot, you know, a lot of room there uh, just in case. So uh, when I don't hit traffic, I end up there an hour early, which is all good with me. You know, I'm cool with just sitting in the gym all day, uh, you know, shooting, uh, doing what I got to do before, uh, you know, the workout actually starts or the pickup or whatever. So. Um, but, you know, shout out to, to Adam and, and Kev and uh, his people, you know, uh, 
you know, allowing me to come get some good work in. It's always appreciated, and uh, <clears throat> I don't think it stopped with last summer, so. That's something that happens at Adam's workouts. What are some things you've, you've learned with that? Because I know a lot of people think that's, like, flashy, but it really works on your pivots and your balance. And I know you were working on that a lot, and I see you work on it a lot. So, Yeah, uh, one of the big things is, is kind of the balance and the, the foundation going into your shot. Uh, you know, it really helped me work on that, especially um, after missing a whole year. I kind of lost kind of the game feel for shooting. Uh, you know, I think in summer league, I was like one for eight from three or something. I just stopped shooting them because they just weren't going in. Uh, and, you know, that was a big emphasis this summer, figuring out how to, uh, you know, get my shot back to where it had been in the past and, and even better. And, um, you know, that was a big part of it. Uh, you know, I got to work on my shot kind of from the ground up. And then, um, you know, when I got back to OKC, I kind of just continued that work, um, you know, all the way up to this point. Front row on the right. Chet, there's been a lot of attention of the matchup. Chet versus Wimby, Wimby versus Chet. You played him a couple times now. What's your takeaway from the matchup, and what do you think of him as a competitor? Uh, you know, he's a high-level competitor. You can, you know, see that uh, in how hard he plays, and uh, you know the um, the emotion that he plays with. Uh, and you know, he's a really good basketball player too. So it's always fun to go up against uh, you know players that are not only really good, but uh, play really hard, you know, it really brings the best out of you. Back center. Go ahead. Oh. Hi. Um, you might play against Victor Wembanyama this weekend. Uh, are you excited to play against him like he is to play against you? Yeah, always. Like I just said, you know, <clears throat> it's always great to play against players that are really good uh, and also play hard and um, you know, have a lot of talent. You know, it brings the best out of you. It makes you better and uh, really makes you compete. So, you know, I'm excited to play against him, but also, you know, all the other guys that are in this Rising Stars thing too. Um, you know, there's a lot of talent across the board. Dave, over here on the left. Chad, I got two quick ones, if I may. Uh, if you are fortunate enough to play in the Sunday game at some point in your career, uh, what do you think you and, and your other peers, uh, up-and-coming players in this league, can do to make that game maybe what it used to be, more competitive um, versus more like an exhibition? Um, I mean, I think it's always been an exhibition. Um, you know, if you really go back and watch some of those highlights, there's not a whole lot of defense till the fourth quarter in those ones. Um, but like, it, it just comes down to competing, uh, you know, I think last year there was uh, some great moments between, I think, Tatum and Brown where, you know, they're going back and forth with each other, uh, just competing. I mean, it's, it's friendly at the end of the day. Obviously, nobody wants to um, have anything bad happen in terms of, like, injuries or anything uh, during the All-Star game. But uh, I think it just come down to competing um, and having fun with it at the same time. Um, you know, a lot of guys are, are friends with each other uh, from being in the league and seeing each other all over the place growing up playing basketball. So, um, you know, if, if guys have a little friendly competition and go back and forth, I think that that'd be great for the game. And just a broader question tapping into your basketball knowledge. When you hear the name Wilt Chamberlain, like what comes to mind? Um, I guess dominance and... Uh, Stats, yeah, put up a lot of stats. Chet, we've been asking all the rising stars the same thing. Is there a specific move from uh, another player in the NBA that you've either added to your game or you're looking to add to your game? I know there's not a lot of players that are like you, so your answer might be more interesting than most. Um, I'd say... Uh, I'd say my post fade. I mean, I've I've added it to my game a while back. Uh, you know, I've had it in my game. It's a good shot for me. I feel like I should just get to it more. On your right, second row. All right, this is kind of a two-parter. Um, who's been your most challenging big man matchup this year? And what was like your welcome to the NBA moment? I got you. Um, for the first question, that's kind of like complicated. On which side of the floor, offense or defense? Um, you were on defense. I was on defense. Uh, probably say like Embiid, <clears throat> yeah, and then 
Welcome to the NBA moment. Um, I mean, there's been a lot of good moments, a lot of bad moments this year, uh, just like for anybody in the NBA. Um, but I'd probably say drumming, stripping me, and then making me fall in the same play. Yeah, so first game in the league, too. Third row towards the center. There's a mic there and the left. Chad, how you doing? Filto 360 for the Spanish community. Um, when, you, when, you, when you see your career so far, I know you got hurt the first year, now this is the second year. How are you coming along physically, and where do you see yourself playing what position in terms of how you're going to develop your body? And the second question is, um, what is your, your most precious goal as a basketball player? Uh, so... First, uh, you know, I feel like I'm coming along great um, physically. Uh, you know, I've been blessed with enough luck, and I've worked hard enough to play in all 54 games so far this year. Obviously, last year I missed all 82 um, with kind of, I guess you could say, a freak injury. But, uh, you know, I put a lot, a lot of work into my body and, and making sure that I'm in the right shape and, uh, you know, strong enough, et cetera, to kind of deal with the night, night in, night out, uh, banging at the NBA. And uh, I feel like I've done a great job of that so far. And shout out to our medical staff, too, for, uh, you know, helping me in between games, um, you know, get ready for the next one. Uh, you know, uh, God willing, it'd be great to play in all 82 games this year. Um, you know, that's definitely one of my goals this year uh, is to play in every single game and then what was your second one? The precious moment um, in your entire career. The one you said, oh, uh, I can't believe I just did this. I can't believe I just did this. Uh, I mean, getting to the NBA, so being drafted, sh shaking Adam Silver's hand, and then finally playing in my first game. Obviously, there was a lot of time in between that. But uh, you know, those two moments were huge for me. Um, but you know, I also understood like that's just the beginning. Got a long ways to go from there, a lot of work to put in. Um, but. It's like a good stepping stone along the way, I guess. Thank you, Chet. That's it for, for here. Victor will be up in a few minutes.